Hi y'all. Today I wanted to talk to you about staying safe this 4th of July. Please know that COVID-19 is spreading rapidly across Texas right now, and there's never been a time um, that Texans have been at higher risk of getting COVID-19 in our state. And family gatherings and community gatherings can be places where COVID-19 can spread quickly and easily. So what is it about these types of gatherings that make them higher risk? Well, in general, we know that uh, the risk of spreading COVID-19 is higher with uh, more people present um, when those people are closer together and when they're together for longer periods of time. So you can see why some of these gatherings might be at higher risk of having that spread of COVID-19. So what are some steps that you can take to help make these celebrations a little bit safer? Well, you can keep the numbers of people smaller and do it outside. That fresh air and good ventilation really helps decrease the spread of COVID-19. Um, if there's people there who are outside your household, we would recommend that you stay at least six feet apart from them, practice social distancing and wear those cloth face coverings. Um, it's really important to wash your hands frequently. And if soap and water is not available, if you're outside, Bring your own alcohol-based hand sanitizer so that you'll have an easy way to clean your hands frequently. Be careful about not touching commonly touched surfaces that might be contaminated with the virus. And if you're hosting the party, then make sure that you clean and disinfect those commonly touched surfaces frequently so that your guests don't inadvertently infect themselves with COVID-19. And be careful about um, sharing. Um, so don't share drinks or utensils, things that could be directly contaminated by the virus. And, and this is really important. Um, we would ask that you stay at home if you are feeling ill at all. If you have been ill recently and are waiting for your test results, uh, for your COVID-19 test results, or if you've had a known exposure to COVID-19 in the last 14 days, and I think by taking these steps that we've just talked about, that you can really make those July 4th celebrations a little bit safer and you can keep yourself and your community safer and healthier.